This is Twit. The Defense Department has finally agreed to give up some uh, spectrum they use in the 3-point gigahertz range. It'll be applied to consumer 5G. So that's that's not millimeter wave, but it is a high frequency. Yeah, um, 3.5 gigahertz. Woo woo. It's it not is... it's not a huge amount of frequency. It's only 100 uh, megahertz of frequency. But is it the, one channel? I guess because if you have one channel that's 100 megahertz wide, you can put a lot of data in oh, those hertz. Oh, so that's that's the that's the. If the, your phone is already made and is already supposedly 5G, does this not help that? No, because you would need chips that work at this, unless right. they somehow have a 3.5 gigahertz chip. So this is nice. And if, if the US, to, sorry, Amp, go ahead. I was I was assuming the phones have the two point was it two point four. That's why. Yeah, so spectrum policy is like they plan like ten years out is not abnormal to think like so. Yeah, when you're thinking this isn't about be what freed up for some time, it's just, well, no, we actually have already some three point five gigahertz no, spectrum. There'll be a spectrum auction in December of 2021, followed by a mid 2022 consumer deployment. Wow. Okay. Oh wow. I, that that they, far. We out. just did. We just did. Yeah. So we just did CBRS in the same band. So we did a citizens broadband radio service in the same ba band. That auction just concluded. Like. Thank God. June. CB Radio has a new new home. <laughs> That's huh. how long this takes. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> that 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 is CB, right? It's this, it's now they it, call it rebranded well, family radio, but family radio service. But it's C, it's the old CB. I don't know if it's the old CB it radio is. service. FRS is, is the old CB. Yes. Okay. Because yeah, CBRS, and that's that's 150 megahertz in the 3.5 gigahertz band, which okay. technically runs from 3.55 to 3.7 megahertz. Um, but if you go to Jeep Jamboree this year, make sure you bring your CB radio. Um, by the way, the um, this they call this mid brand because there's 600 megahertz 5G. That's the stuff T-Mobile's doing. It's not particularly too fast or anything, but it's 600 megahertz, so it goes through walls. There's millimeter wave, which is what is it? Where is that? 20 gigahertz. It's really high. Uh, they say it's between 24 and like. 39 it's is what really, we're calling really it. really, really high. And that bounces off tin foil. That bounces off your nose. It's that bounces doesn't, off water. It doesn't, yeah. doesn't go through anything. Uh, but it's fast. Well, so okay, this is in so between. Here's, you have to think about it this way, right? So you've got your there, – there's a couple things. So we saw that chart last week where we saw how far things mm -hmm. can travel and then how it can go through walls or not or water or right. whatever, how fast it That was a really good graphic, helpful. yeah. Yes, so how fast your your radio waves drop off. The other thing you have to think about when you're talking about spectrum is channel width. So when you get to those high, higher ranges, nobody's using that very much. And because there's so much attenuation, it's just overall less, it's been less useful. So it's not as crowded. So you can have these really fat channels. So like 100 megahertz wide channels. Oh, is channels. that why you get so much bandwidth? And that's bandwidth. why you get so much oh. bandwidth. It's nobody wants it. Yeah, it's 600 <laughs> megahertz. Everybody's there. You've got like 10 megahertz oh. channels, maybe 20 if you're lucky. And the carriers, they have to split that between upload and download. Oh. There's, there's, so, so that makes that's, sense. So that's it's, where all of this is coming from. It's a trade off that you have to make between penetra penetration and you know availability, usability, and speed. So this will be a little. They didn't. They they have a hundred megahertz, but they didn't say whether they're that's one band. Yeah, and in channel width is super nerdy, y'all. This is again. This is this is where Jack well, is I like. I knew you'd like it. I, I love it. Keep talking. <laughs> but <laughs> well, so, but that's that's one of the things where people are like, you know, it, it's it's an under discussed element there. But and if you can like, with like. Uh, the millimeter wave stuff, they can even talk about, like, they're talking about, like, 60 gigahertz, right? Wow. Which is crazy. Right. But um, that doesn't even go through a bush. It's like, 
<laughs> me to my, my camera right here. Yeah. It's like, mm -hmm. whoop, bam, yeah. a lot of data really fast. And that's why uh, we always talk about how. That would be useful like in the home, right? For devices to there, talk to one another, that type of spectrum. There was a whole not necessarily. standard that tried to use that, but it actually sucks in the home. Because it fries your liver. No. Oh. The reason is because we are giant bags of salt water and yeah, we walk around worst. our homes. Yeah. Oh, okay. Things. We're the worst. So it really is only useful line of sight applications. And, yes. And, and that's really why. Specialized yeah. line of sight applications. Are we are giant water. bags of salt water. We are. <laughs> salt water. Yeah. Yeah. We're thought, bad Stacey, for Wi-Fi. I thought too. you didn't talk like philosophy. <laughs> that was a highly philosophical <laughs> statement you just made. That's all we are. Oh, They're just yeah, giant bags of giant salt. Giant bags water. of salt water in the world. There's, there's Stacy's existentialism. There, there we go. <sighs> According, <laughs> so the problem is that this mid band uh, is typically used by military, uh, and so this was a big deal. The White House announced the DoD has agreed to relinquish a mere hundred megahertz of that 3.5 gigahertz spectrum. Here's my next question. Use. So that's in the U.S. The same thing is not happening in Europe, right? No. So your 5G hearing is going to work the same as there. Yeah, it's different everywhere. Well, so there are efforts. Every every time the, the FCC looks at this stuff and like all the chip companies, they make efforts to try to get everybody on the same bands. Obviously, that doesn't work. But things like Wi-Fi, um, some of, actually some of the CBRS stuff that's in this band will be uh, internationally uh, congruent. There's actually a word for this, and I can't think of it right now. Um, but yeah, so the answer is sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Oh, okay. when it works though, it's really good because that's fewer radios in your devices and fewer right. SKUs for like a big vendor. Thank you, Stacy. You're welcome, Jeff. Fascinating. I feel better. Thank y'all. Yeah, ah. now I feel like I need some Gutenberg philosophy or something. <clears throat> Did you well, know? See, I, I never really knew about channels like that. I will that. promote. That's what's fascinating. The channel with that. Right. I never even knew anything about that. That's that's wow. really fascinating. 